Okay guys, in this uh, tutorial, how to repair your Windows 11 without losing any data or programs. So you can see here is a tro other troubleshooter. So you can uh, access the troubleshoot page. So it's very simple. Go to the search and type troubleshoot. You can directly click on it and access this troubleshoot page. Now click on other troubleshooter. When you click on other troubleshooter, you're gonna see the number of options over here. So here you have a number of options. So if you have a problems with your audio, network, printer, whatever, you just click on it. Let's say you have a problem with the audio. So click on run. It's very simple and easy. It's gonna search for the help articles. Now see, here is the steps that you're gonna follow. If it fixes your issue, okay. Otherwise click on no. It will show you the another solution. If it fixes your issue, just follow the steps. If it fixes your issue, okay. Otherwise, again click on no. Again, follow these steps. I hope it help. If it do not help you, again click on no. So in this way, you're gonna go through the number of solutions. If any of these solutions help you, click on yes. So easy way you can fix your issue without wandering here and there. So the other easy way is right over here in the same page, just uh, gonna come down and here you have a Windows update. Sometimes updating your Windows to the latest versions will fix loss of your uh, Windows 11 uh, issues. So if you want to repair your Windows 11 without losing any data and program, just check for the updates and install the necessary latest update and restart your PC and you'll definitely see your problems should be gone. The, uh, another easy steps that you can try is here you have an update history. Sometime updating will be causing you the problem. Click on update history, come down, and you're gonna see uninstall update. Here's the list of update that you have made. If your PC was working fine before and some of the latest update had ca caused the problem in your PC, you can just select and uninstall that particular updates. So another easy way that you can try in order to fix this issue is just go to the uh, system, come down, and here you have uh, the recovery options. Click on recovery and here you have to reset the PC. It's very simple and easy way. When you click on remove everything, it will remove all your personal files. When you click on keep app, keep my files, it will remove apps and settings, but it will keep your personal files in your system. So choose the first options and go ahead with this uh, wizard to recover, sorry, to reset your PC. It is like doing the factory reset in your phone, but it will keep your personal files. So these were the easy things. So let me cancel it right now because I'm not resetting my PC. So here's the another easy way. You're gonna run these few commands one by one in a command prompt. So I'm just copying it and I'm going to paste it over here and press enter key. So here it is, we'll be running the second commands. This is the second command that you're going to type. So here you have all the commands. I hope it is visible. I can make a little bit bigger for you. Okay, now it will be visible. In the similar way, you're going to run the third command also. So one by one, you're gonna run all the three commands. So this is the third command I'm running. So one by one, you'll be running these three commands. It's another easy way you can fix your all your Windows problems without losing anything. So this will fix up your Windows 11's issue. So I've successfully done with the, all the three commands. So one more thing that you can try is the SFC slash scan now. Let's it okay. Just scan all your system files and it just takes some time, let it complete and it will help you with your Windows 11 uh, problems. So one more solution that you can try, let me show you. On option and command prompt. Choose the account, enter the password, and 
Now let me increase the size. Go to properties and make it large. Front size will choose to 28 so that it will be visible. So the very first command we'll type is BCD EDIT. Enter. So this will give the information where exactly I have my operating system. The drive information. Now you're going to scroll it down slowly. So let me check where exactly I have my operating system. You can see device partition C. Come down. Device partition E. Now we'll come down and check. Somewhere there must be the OS device. Here it is. Description, it's Windows 10. Here I have a OS device, partition E. So partition is E. Your might be different from E, make a note of it. So you're gonna type this command and press enter key. So the command is chkdsk e colon slash f. So replace this E with your drive letter if it is different from E. I did guide you how to check it. OS device minus E, your might be different from E, so you're gonna replace the E with your drive later, where exactly you have your operating system. Press enter key. This might take few my few minutes. The second command that you're gonna execute is boot rec b o o t r e c space slash fix c m b r. Third command that you're gonna execute is boot rec space slash rebuild b c d. The fourth command, sorry, the fifth command that you're going to execute is bcd boot e colon windows space slash yes space e colon. So you might be different from e. So you're going to put your drive letter where exactly you have your operating system. I've shown you in the very beginning. So replace the E with your drive letter and press enter key. If the command do not execute successfully, if you get any kinds of error, you're going to type, proceed to this step if you get any kinds of error. If you do not get any kinds of error, you're going to close this and then after reboot your PC and your error should be gone away. If you get any kinds of error like this, if you get error like this or any kinds of error, you're gonna type dx part P A R T and press enter key. You're gonna type list volume 
You can see the number of drive I have over here. This is my external drive, SD card, FAT32, C drive, I have E drive, I have a G drive, and one is the hidden drive. So here we got the number of volume. So E drive is the operating system. Apart from E, this is my SD card, so no need. Apart from E and this external SD card, D, I have C, G, and F. So make a note of, so leave the drive, uh, one that got operating system. So you might be different from E, so you're gonna exclude that drive. And you can exclude any external device that is inserted and then you're gonna select other than that we have a c we have a g and f you might be different from this so excluding the drive one that got operating system i'm gonna make a note of it c g and f we'll exit the disk part now We're going to repeat the command. So instead of D, so I'm going to use C, G, and F. So one by one. This is the C. Again, error. We'll use G. Again, error. We'll use F. Again, error. So you should not get this error. So when you are getting this error means uh, you have not executed the command successfully. So if you are getting this error, these uh, steps might not help you guys. So if you are not getting this error, this step is definitely for you. This will help you and you can fix the error. So in case if you get the error, there is another way you can try. So one by one, we'll get inside the different drive. So C, Z, and F. So you might be different from that one I'm telling you again and again. So very first, I'll change the drive to F. So I'm inside F drive. So sorry, in order to change the drive, we don't have to use the letter CD. Just uh, type EF and column. Now you'll be inside EF drive. So inside EF drive, now we'll change the directory. CD, make sure it has a EFI. See if it has a EFI. No, it do not have a EFI. So what we do is DIR. So we have a recovery.txt and zero bytes. Only two files in this drive. So what we do is next to us, C. We'll get inside C and see if it has EFI. So let me check it's DIR. So volume C has no level. Okay, it's not helpful. So next was three drive other than my operating system. So we'll get inside G and type DIR. So it do not have uh, any stuff over it. It's only two directory and we do not have a EFI. So it needs to have a EFI. We need to get inside boot section, boot folder. So let me show you some examples. Uh, if it is, if that is the case, we'll use the external pen drive. Uh, we'll insert it. And again, we'll go to disk part. Again, we'll say list volume now total we have this is my pen drive where i have a operating system so it's fat 32 removable so my pen drive is here it is it's fat 32 removable it's drive h we'll exit it we'll get inside drive h see if it has an operating system dir Okay, here it is. Now we need to get inside the folder EFI. That is what I wanted to tell you. 
So number of drive we tried in the very beginning, like uh, other than operating system, I tried drive C drive, G, and even I tried different other drive. So none has this EFI. It has a couple of directory, but none had this EFI. So why that those drives uh, do not have a EFI? So if any one of those drives were the recovery drive in your PC, it needs to have a EFI. So that was not a recovery drive. So one by one, I checked all the drives. Finally, I'm using the external drive to create this uh, boot files. So this error occurs sometimes because uh, you'll be missing the boot files. So finally, in this external USB drive, it's a bootable drive. If you do not have one, you can create it, uh, bootable USB flash drive for your Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now we'll get inside EFI, CD, EFI. Now we'll get inside, again we'll type DIR. Now we'll get inside Microsoft. So again, CD, micro, soft okay again i'll press d i r i'll get inside boot cd boot now finally we are put inside the boot folder now we're going to run that commands in the very beginning i tried here it is so bcd boot e drive okay so you might be different from E, I told you in the very beginning, make a note where exactly you have the operating system. BCD put E Windows slash S. So instead of slash S, we'll be using slash L. EN, okay, no need of EN, just use slash L. Press enter key. Okay, so I'm missing, see it's giving me some instructions. I need to type E and US. So EN US press enter key. I'm getting the error message. So I did not notice I'm doing a minor mistake over here using the backslash. So instead of C, I did use my operating system drive, but instead of I'm I'm missing the backslash. So I can put the backslash. So small minor mistakes can cause the problems. Now press enter key. You can see boot file successfully created. So this is the message you should get. Finally, from the external drive, external bootable drive, I have created a boot files into the E drive. Now, you're gonna repeat these steps for a couple of time, multiple number of time, if the issue still exists. I hope this solution will help you. This is the last step. This is the last solution, the command from method that you could try in order to fix this issue. Still the issue process you can do is format your PC. So these were the possible best solutions for this issue. Catch you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.